Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code 0x87E0012C on Xbox consoles. Before we begin, you need to know this, error code 0x87E1001C occurs when you insert a game disc that isn't compatible with your Xbox Series X, S or Xbox One console. If you've received this error code, it means the Xbox One game disc you inserted isn't compatible with the Xbox Series X, S console, or the Xbox 360 game disc you inserted isn't compatible with the Xbox Series X, S or Xbox One console. Therefore, make sure that the games are compatible with your Xbox. Method 1. Check Game Disc. Some users have reported just put the game disc that is having problems in. After the game loaded it needed to sync. This has helped them. Besides, try clean the disc carefully and try again. Your disc might be dirty and need cleaning. Use a little alcohol with a piece of fabric and clean it gently and softly until you see it has become clean enough. If you notice some major scratches on the lower surface of the disc, then it's a strong indication that the disc is damaged and you have to get a new one. Otherwise, you need to use the disc on another Xbox and check whether it works fine or not. If it does, then the Xbox system might have some corrupted, damaged files that must be repaired. Method 2. Clearing the alternative MAC address. Go to Settings. Go to General. Select Network Settings. Now, select Advanced Settings. Select Alternate MAC address. Select Clear. Restart your console, then check if the issue persists. Method 3. Change your DNS. On the home screen, select Settings. Select General. Select Network Settings. Select Advanced Settings. Select DNS Settings. Select Manual. Here, I will use Google DNS. Type 8.8.8.8 as the primary IPv4 DNS. Type 8.8.4.4 for the secondary IPv4 DNS. Additionally, you can also try with other DNS such as Cloudflare DNS, OpenDNS, etc. Once done, press the menu button on your controller to save then see if the problem is fixed. Method 4. Restart your Xbox and router. Press and hold the Xbox button on your controller and select Turn Console Off. After your Xbox turns off completely, unplug the power cable from the power source, and disconnect any peripheral attached to your console, such as a controller, headset, hard drive, etc. Wait for about 5 minutes before connecting it again to power and restart the console. Please do the same with your router. Method 5. Try open ports for Xbox or use different network. First, go to Settings. Go to Network Settings. Now, in NAT Type section, it should be open. If the NAT Type is not open, you will need to open some ports with your internet provider. These ports must be open for Xbox Live to work, port 88, UDP, port 3074, UDP and TCP, port 53, UDP and TCP, port 80, TCP, port 500, UDP, port 3544, UDP, port 4500, UDP. Please contact your internet service provider and ask them to open the above ports for you. 
Besides, if you have more than one router, try replacing the router you are using with another router. We do this to eliminate the possibility that the problem is caused by the router's strict security features. If those aren't feasible for you, then try connecting to another wireless network, such as a neighbor's wireless network, mobile data, etc. Then check if the error code is gone. In case the issue still persists, the last method would be to perform a reset on the console. To do so you will need to go to settings. Go to system. Go to console info. Select reset this Xbox. Select reset and keep my games and apps. The reset and keep my games and apps option will not cause losing your games, but please be aware that you need to be completely aware of the email address as well as the password of your account before going for it, because it will require you to sign into the account. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks. Thank <music> you.